Hello, I have a Toro. I'm gonna change the uh, fuel pump, and yeah, it's snowing. It's like, I don't know, today's December 6th or something, 7th. Just real quick. I think it's only like, I don't know what time it is, early evening, it's ridiculously dark out here. So it's a vacuum style fuel pump. And take this off. I don't know if you have to take this off, but I like to. Just trying to make sure you guys can see. So it's a 10 millimeter from the mount. Set that up there, hopefully it don't fall. <clears throat> One clamp off. Wiggle it. Get out of the way. The other clamp. There's another 10 millimeter down over here, which I didn't see. I might not even have to, oh yeah, I gotta take it off. Should use my socket. Yeah, this snow is uh, funny, because it was just 57 uh, degrees earlier today here in, uh, well, when I was in Cleveland. Ohio it was 57 uh, late in the morning pouring rain around 3 30 4 o'clock in the morning those are the same size so I'm gonna worry about that I'll get my other pliers hold this twist make sure you don't have anything that can catch the fuel on fire you know Big boom boom. Right now a little heat might feel good. Probably just pull up on this. Grab this. All right, put that there. Let's open up the new one. Get all the snow off of it. It's uh Boy, that plastic's really on there. Yeah, I think it's gonna get up to, uh, I don't know. Warmer. So I'll put this back on. Normally I lube the stuff, but for the sake of uh, time, Again, and that's basically it. I'm not going to start it. I just know the fuel pump's bad. I have it running only on starter fluid. And it's not the uh, that little solenoid on the bottom of the float bowl either. Like the anti-backfire. I like to call it anti-dieseling. Like the old, uh, you know, carburetors would do. If you didn't give it a little acceleration before you shut it off. You know, a little room, room. And while it's at the higher idle. So the ignition also wouldn't keep... <laughs> Yeah, me and the sound effects, huh? Yeah, again, nothing 
nothing for me was prepped. This is all brand new. Oh no, I lied. I took the tarp off. Yeah, I should have grabbed my uh, quarter inch or three eighths ratchet, a little extension and a 10 millimeter. Actually, I think these might be three eighths. 10 millimeters, just a hair bigger than three eighths. And just snug them down, no need to crank it, it's just plastic. So, yep, this is, uh, I think it's December 7th, 2021. Ah, it's probably like 6, 6.30. I'm up here in Asheville, Ohio. Real close to the, well, not too close, I mean, I don't know, close to Pennsylvania. All right, double check, these are tight. All right, that's that, here's the old one. Let me gather, get my tools in the snow here. Don't want to litter. That's how they change the fuel pump. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah, it's snowing. So yeah, it's a Toro, it's a 23 uh, horsepower motor. Maybe I can get a picture of the serial number. It might help somebody out. Maybe, maybe not. That's what it is. And it's a 20, let's see, this is an older one. Yeah, 23. Okay, I'm cold. Thanks for watching. If I can get this thing to shut off. It's too snowy. It's never too snowy.